YouTube, welcome back. I got my skimmer finally. I got the Reef Octopus Regal 300 internal. This thing is awesome. I was looking online and looking at the measurements and everything and you know I didn't realize how large this thing is. It, I mean it fits perfect in the sump. We have plenty of space on this side on that side you know it's got plenty of clearance I got room for my probes right there and get you a top view of it this thing is awesome I, I swear I can't even hear it <clears throat> I cannot hear this thing running so I over the weekend I'm gonna hook up my uh, controller put all my probes in there but uh, back to the skimmer man this thing is unbelievable it's so much larger than my uh, my mini G I had before. <laughs> so anyways, uh, take the top off. Like I said, you can't even, it's really nice, you can't hear it run, I can't hear the pump, I can't hear it drawing air. I believe the bigger hose, um, air hose right there, there's two of them that come with it, the smaller one can fit on that air silencer and the larger one. I put the larger one on because it fits and uh, it's actually for the collection comp but uh, it fits pretty well so I turned it this this is the way that it installs but I put it in my sump this way so I can see what's uh, sorry about that so I can see what's inside the pump I've had snails everyone's had snails in their pumps and that's what took out my last skimmer sorry about the shakiness it's on my cell phone but anyways back to uh, this awesome skimmer is really cool I do recommend it and uh, really excited oh um, I'm gonna add some fish maybe in a week or two and um, my uh, pellet reactor right here it has a valve I just have a little bit of water flowing through it but the uh, the other line right there the rubber hose it's gonna come under there under the gate valve and then I'm gonna attach it uh, with something maybe a plastic tie or something with a 90 so the um, the outlet on the bio pellet is just feeding right into the reactor so that um, <clears throat> the um, the sludge stuff that comes off those pellets that excess bacteria and stuff it doesn't keep floating around the tank and cause algae blooms so that's what I'll do there but yeah let me give you guys a view of it it's in about nine inches of water. Um, I was worried that maybe it might start siphoning air. Um, this pump back here for the tank, you can't really see it now, but that one right there is twice the size. It's a uh, 12,000. I believe that's a 5,500. So yeah, no worries with that. Here's the uh, clown and enemy tank. So it's going. It's got some good flow in there. The water that comes off of here is the, is the noise that you're hearing. And all the water going through the system. This It's probably putting at least 25 to 2800 gallons an hour through the filtration, which is just some filter socks down in there. Let me show you real quick. So it's some filter socks under that belt, uh, filter media. So that's it. I'm really happy. Uh, like I said, we got a week or two. I'll get some fish. Probably next week I'll order fish. Um, lights. I still got to save up for those. I'm just going to get a couple uh, chromas, some green, greenish blue chromas for uh, for a starter. Uh, I get a little school of maybe 13 or something. Get them going. But otherwise, uh, the lights will be coming in another month or two. And then uh, then I'll stock it some more, with some more fish. And then once I get the lights, you know, I'll start putting some corals in a few months down the road. So stay tuned. More to come. Thanks for watching.